So one of the ways that you can see angular momentum is if I took my chair and I spun it around like so. That's not, that's a pretty standard way of doing it, but what I did want to show was the geometric factor. So let's say I had my hands in like this and I brought them out. So if I were to spin myself, get myself to have a, a fairly constant angular momentum, and then I open my arms, as you can see, my arms slowed, down, slowed me down. So now, let's do the opposite. I'll start with my arms out and bring them in. But first, some angular momentum. Oh, sorry. Made, sorry, I forgot. I'll have to try that one more time because I didn't have my arms out. So let's try them out. Start spinning, give myself some angular momentum, and then bring them in. And notice, I start going faster. So with that, you can see the geometric factor does matter because the shape changed, but also the mass that was at my, from my, the distance from my center of mass, which is about my stomach, to the outside is actually very important. So if by increasing this radius, I can actually change my moment of inertia, which will in turn help me to either slow myself down if I were to bring it out or speed myself up if I were to pull my arms in. This is exactly why figure skaters do this in order to get those crazy spins that I mentioned earlier. That's why they do this. They pull their arms in to make themselves spin faster. So consider that. Now, if you do want to see me do some other, you know, increase my angular moment, my moment of inertia by even more, I do have two other levels of this, so comment below if you want to see that kind of video. So good luck in your studies. I'll see you next time.